In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can find the gain and phase margin just by looking at a body plot. So we have a body plot here. And the key thing with these graphs is that they are perfectly lined up. We have our phase graph here, and we have a magnitude graph here. And if I put a line here, you can see, if you look at the frequency axis, that these two graphs are lined up exactly. And that means if we take a reading on, say, the phase plot, and we move up the way following that line, we could find the corresponding point on the magnitude plot. The fact that these graphs are lined up is going to make it much easier to find your gain and phase margins. So we're going to start by finding the gain margin. So again, we have our body plot here. And when we're thinking about the gain margin, we're thinking about how much could you change the gain when you are at minus 180 degrees of phase that would make your gain go to zero. So we're going to start by looking at minus 180 degrees, and we need to find what the frequency is when you have a phase of minus 180 degrees. So we'll just read across here, and we're going to take a reading at this point. Now I've used a computer to get a very exact reading. If you're reading off this from a printed body plot, you'll be able to get the same sort of idea, but not wildly accurately, because these are quite challenging diagrams to read manually. The next thing we have to realize is that this number here is in fact our phase crossover frequency. This is the point where our phase plot crosses over minus 180 degrees, and that's the frequency that that occurs. So we call that the phase crossover frequency. And with this phase crossover frequency, we can take this point and simply read up the way. So we're going to follow this line up and find the corresponding point on our magnitude plot. And when we take the reading there, we find that at exactly the same frequency, you'll notice that these two frequency numbers match up, that we get a magnitude of 10.45. And we're really thinking about this distance in here. And you could basically move this graph down by 10.45 dB decibels, and that would take you to a magnitude of zero. So we say that the gain margin is minus 10.45 decibels. So in other words, you are 10.45 decibels above zero. So you'd have to change it by minus 10.45 to hit zero. And that gives you your gain margin. So the way you find gain margin, find where your minus 180 degree point is and just read up from that and then find the difference between zero dB. And that gives you your gain margin. So let's now look at phase margin, which you find in a similar way, but you're going to be starting by looking at the magnitude plot. So we've got our magnitude plot at the top, and we're thinking about what the phase is and how much we need to change the phase to get to 180 degrees, minus 180, when you have a magnitude of zero on your body plot. So we read across from zero, and we take a reading at this point. And so here we get this number, 0.62222 hertz. And this is at zero dB. And we call this the gain crossover frequency. This is the frequency at which the gain crosses over zero dB. These names make a lot of sense, I would hope. So from this point, we read straight down the way. So we read straight the down the way to here, and we take a reading here, and we get minus 203.6 degrees. We're thinking about how far away this is from minus 180. So we're thinking about this distance in here. And we can do simply the phase plus 180 degrees. And so if we take that minus 203.6 at 180 degrees, we'll get minus 23.6. So you have to move this up by 23.6, up that arrow there. So you're moving kind of backwards in a sense. And that will take you to a phase of minus 180 degrees. And that means that this value is our phase margin. So you can now find your gain and your phase margins by just looking at a body plot. I hope this video was helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.